My typical day is the same over and over again. I wake up, take my pills for my blood pressure, my diabetes, my gout. I play video games or watch TV and I get up, I get something to eat, a couple of tortillas with butter, some cheese. I probably eat about it. Anywhere from a half pound to a pound of cheese a day. Salami and one or two Gatorades and three or four Pepsis a day. That would be the, the laundry basket where I would keep all my cookies, candy, and soda in. I order DoorDash. I get groceries delivered to the house or my father picks it up. Last night, I made myself four hamburger and cheese burritos. Not only am I embarrassed to go outside, I'm scared to death if I lose my footing and I end up on the ground. Two years ago, his back gave out, and they had to have 10 firefighters carry him out. I have to use a portable urinal because I can't reach my private areas. I have to use this to go to the bathroom. Man. I don't bathe every day. It's twice a week, but it was once every two weeks. When I was in the 700s, I had to take a shower outside. Even though it was embarrassing, you know, to bathe that way, it still didn't stop me from finishing a whole pizza. Well, it was no easy task getting David here to Los Angeles. He's unable to fly and says he can barely sit for more than 15 minutes at a time. His father had to drive a van with David reclining on the front seat. Now his sister, Jen, who also struggles with her weight, sat in the back. I'm just nervous about people seeing me on the road. You know, they look in the car and they see this fat guy. People are gonna be like, oh my God, look at that guy. It just makes you wanna hide. It feels okay right now. <laughs> Okay. My back is way tight right now. My knees hurt really bad. I had a headache. It's a long ways to walk to the restroom. We're headed right now to get some lunch. Can I get a, a number three with a coat? A super size at? Been on the road for at least uh, five hours now. I hurt really bad. I'm trying to grin and bear it, just trying to get there without stopping that much. I'm really, I'm not really hungry. I just need something to tie me over. A tough journey, but uh, seven hours of suffering or lifetime of happiness. Well, David is afraid that he's going to die soon and says I'm his only hope. So what caused David to gain all of his weight back? Well, really, his weight back plus more. By uh, 2003, I weighed 630 pounds. I reached out to a local news channel, and they got me in contact with a personal trainer, and we ended up at uh, 229 pounds. In 2008, I was a personal trainer, and widely known because of my weight loss. And in 2009, TLC did a documentary about me. Three months into his diet regime, and David had lost 100 pounds. I didn't know the show that I was gonna be on was gonna be called The 650 Pound Virgin. Well, I don't know how girls work or women work. It's, it's a mess. After the show, I went back to closet eating. You know, I was this weight loss celebrity and here I am gorging myself on Ben and Jerry's and tortilla chips. I ended up getting my weight back and losing my job as a personal trainer. When I was that lower weight, people would always like, oh, you look so good, Dave. But in my mind, I felt like I wasn't good enough and disgusting. 